Hello everybody, it's MCB here. Welcome to a new video. So I will be installing Taoboot or Toboot uh, to my PinePhone Pro. I'm going to be flashing a new bootloader onto the phone. And this is just going to show off how I'm doing it. Maybe you could consider this as a guide, but I think of this as more of a, uh, if something goes wrong, it could be funny. If it goes right, it'll be awesome. So yeah, I went to the Taoboot uh, GitHub page here, and I downloaded the Pine Pro or PinePhone Pro 64 version. Here it is, and it's this image right here, SPI, on their page. Uh, they say that I should install it this way, it's recommended, so that is exactly what I am going to do. Uh, they do have a disk dump um, command here for doing it, but I want to actually try a tool I've never actually used. Um, it is uh, Popsicle, and I, I've never used this tool. I've always done the DD command um, from like, you know, testing out like a distribution or something. So I actually want to try this and see if it will work. Now I do have a 64 gigabyte uh, SD card uh, that I have here. So I'm going to actually, um, yeah, I'm going to select the image and I'm going to put it on there. So I got the image file on a flash and then let's select it. So here it is. So this is the, the generic SD card. It's like 60, should be 64, but it's 59 here. Okay, sure. And uh, now it's gone. All right, let's see. Hopefully that's going to do it. Wow, that was really quick. Okay. All right, so the 64 gigabyte uh, SD card that I flashed Taoboot on is now on the phone. Now, from what I know, I need to uh, get something to press down this RE button so that it doesn't boot into the operating system on the phone. I'm gonna grab a paper clip and I will press down that RE button and then I should uh, follow the directions where I'm pretty sure it's just look for the uh, indicator uh, on the phone in the corner, uh, LED indicator, and it should flash red, I believe. At that point, I don't need to hold uh, RE down anymore. So you can kind of see RE right there, and below that is a hole, which I'm going to poke this uh, little uh, paper clip in while the phone is turning on. So now that I have the battery in, so the phone can power on, I'm going to take this paper clip and I am going to put it here. It's a little button, you click it, and I'm going to hold down the power button. So let's have that hold down. Both of them are there. I don't think I need to do that anymore. Hello? Is anyone home? So, I made sure that this SD card is pushed in all the way. Um, it's all clicky click. Let's try this again. Oh, there it is. Okay. Perfect. The red LED. I think that's where we should be. <laughs> right? Maybe. Oh, boop, boop. Hello, hello. It's doing different things. Ah, here we go. All right, we got Taoboot. How exciting. So, this application is used to manage the Taoboot installation on your Pine64 PinePhone Pro. Taoboot will be installed on SPI Flash. Use one of the following options and install Taoboot and erase uh, SPI Flash content and power off. So, let's, uh, whoops. Let's make sure we're clicking the right thing here. Okay, to connect your device to a charger. I am good with that. Have it right here. And uh, just in case. Start installation to start the installation. Okay, let's start it. Here we go, it's going very quickly. Yep, yeah, and it's green now. You can safely power off the Pine64 PineForm Pro and remove the installation medium. Okay, let's go back to the main menu here. And let's uh, power off the phone. I'm gonna 
disconnect the power so it doesn't reboot the phone. So let's just power it off. Okay, seems to be powered off. I'm going to remove the SD card, and I guess I will try to... I'll put the default system in, we'll see what that looks like. Here we go, so this is KDE Plasma. This uh, is the operating system that came with the phone. I'm eventually going to flash it and probably update it or do something. I think this install is actually kind of broken. Um, but this is the default installation for, for it. And uh, so yeah, the phone boots. Pfft, that's good. It's a great sign. Now, one of the things that I've heard is that it helps uh, to fix suspend. Actually, I'm going to try updating the phone first, just to make sure we have all the latest packages. I did mention uh, that uh, this phone, uh, this installation on here on the EMC, so this is no longer off the uh, cards, those two cards are over here. Oh god, I think I, I don't know which one is which, but okay, that's okay. I'll figure it out. Um, yes, yeah, so this installation's a bit broken because uh, you're supposed to update software. Technically, we're supposed to be able to update software through the Discover app, and it seems like that doesn't uh, work for me any longer. It does not show uh, software updates here. I don't know if that's maybe um, something they removed temporarily or whatever the case be. It only works um, when I update through um, the terminal here. I can only uh, update software through here now. So that's why I'm thinking this install is a little bit broken. Um, but yeah. But it's cool to see there's an update um, to the system. Um, I've been pretty much using um, the operating system on here, and that is um, Dantix Arch Linux with Posh as an interface. And this is Manjaro Linux uh, with uh, KDE Plasma Mobile uh, as an interface. At least I think that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, pretty sure. So we're going to let this system update, and then we're going to try Suspend. I want to make sure everything's most up to date uh, as possible. Things are always changing. Uh, and I really have mainly been using um, Posh. That's why I was actually on it earlier, because I think it's a more refined experience. Um, at least it works better now than uh, this does, because I like KDE, uh, KDE Plasma Mobile. I think it's pretty nice, and I have some stuff set up on here, like Duolingo, whatever. I was trying it out. Um, but I, I, it's just some things are just way too broken uh, with it. And, and less stable, that makes me be really not want to use it uh, and prefer um, uh, Posh as an interface as of right now. But uh, yeah, so let's just try it. I, I want to, I mean, I like KDE Plasma a lot, but it's just not there yet for me, at least in my opinion. But I think it could be good enough. Um, I just need suspend to work. <laughs> the big thing with this phone is suspend. I need suspend to work because I want to stop using. Maybe not stop using entirely, but I want to switch to this phone, like, full-time. And Suspend is, is the one thing that's going to let me do that. And for those who don't know, Suspend basically um, is a thing in, in Linux where your phone is just a very ultra-low power mode. Because um, if it's not, then it's just, yeah, the battery drains very, very fast on this phone, and it's a little unfortunate. But yeah, the big thing is just getting Suspend to work, and apparently with Tau Boot it does. Or at least it does to a degree. Um, so I'm going to test that in a second, but we just got to wait for this thing to, uh, to update and we'll be done. Right. So if you fire up the terminal here, let's try suspending the system. System CTL. Suspend. Okay. Should be suspended. So, let's try it. I press the power button. Oh, it worked. It worked. It worked. Okay. Let's put in my passcode here. Wow. Okay. That that worked. I'm actually kind of surprised. Is anything wrong? I mean, internet still seems connected. Wonder if I had an, a SIM card in here. Okay, that's really great that that worked. That's really great. Wow. Okay, let's try it again. Or right, let's um have something in the background. I want to uh, let's see maybe like YouTube. Um, and let's see if I suspend the YouTube video, is it gonna rem or go back to the YouTube video? And by the way, these are all uh, browser shortcuts to the Anglefish web browser that I have uh, on this phone. I think Anglefish is actually a pretty good uh, pretty good browser. I'm signed up. Okay, that's fine. Let's just um. 
go search up a video on my channel because I know I'm not going to get copyrighted for my own content. So let's go. Um, placeholder API tutorial. <laughs> sure. Wow, that was an experience. Okay, I don't think I actually have ever seen YouTube ads go really fast like that. Um, I do have the speed at normal, but it's not normal. Okay, let's see speed. Can can we? Let's go to like one point five, and then let's go back to. Um, Hello, YouTube. Oh goodness. Okay, let's go back. Nope. It's it's just like nope. We're we're not doing anything for you today. So here we go. Let's try this again. I'm not using the browser shortcut anymore. That seemed to be very weird. It seems like the browser or the little shortcuts um you can put um on your phone's home screen that does not retain like cookies or cache or anything like that. Um, which is kind of weird. Um, I should have remembered that. So yeah, let's try this now where it's normal. It's still going fast. What is this? Why? That's so strange. Why is that the case? Does this have anything to do with Tau Boot? I don't think so. Oh god, and now this is... Oh god. Let it stop. Let it stop. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's really weird, guys. I've used this before. I want to be very clear. I've used Anglefish before, and I've, I've watched YouTube videos. Like, I was listening to a podcast, um, you know, a, a, a few days ago on this phone. So I don't know why um, that would suddenly go really quick. I, I'm so confused. What the heck? Okay, I you know, I'm sure this is a uh, normal because uh, it literally is playing faster. You can see it in the in the player. I, I I don't. Oh, wait a second. It might be because of the suspend that might have caused it. So let's see if if I actually um, let's power down the phone here and let's reboot. Or usually I can. There you go. Let's restart the phone. I think that suspend caused that issue. That makes sense. Okay, I was so confused for a second, but that that's probably what that was. So yes, suspend is not perfect right now, and that's actually why I wanted to to take a look at this is because uh, it's it's incomplete and there are issues, and I was really wondering, hmm, what issues are there? And apparently, uh, playing the videos at two times speed is uh, an issue. So that's good to know, I guess. I that's a really uh, a strange issue to have, but I guess it's good good to know that it's an issue. Okay then, so um phone's booting up. Boop boop. I like the little um doot 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 kinda nice. Um yeah let's boot the phone back up and let's try it when it's freshly rebooted. Um so when a suspend has not happened and I think that it will be okay. So we, we've isolated the issue, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. This is this is interesting. I I really wonder why. Um, putting my password in, so I'm not gonna show that. I really wonder why that happens. It's really weird. But okay. I mean, they didn't say that it it was without problems. So uh, <laughs> there you go. Okay. Let's go. I don't know if you can really hear it, but uh, the audio is, uh, it's good. Audio's a little um, low, though, I will say. I feel like it's just my video, maybe. I think that's what, what it is. My audio isn't amazing in my videos. So let's just actually play this in the background, and I want to try going into suspend and going out, and I want to see what, the, what happens. I'm, I'm just interested. So... Okay, we gotta wait for the modem manager here. 
Actually, I can just uh, do I, and hopefully it's, I mean, it should be fine. I don't actually have a SIM card in here, so I shouldn't do anything weird. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, here we go. So now, now we are suspended. Let's go out of suspend. And is the audio gonna just start playing weirdly? Oh, okay. Audio is okay. Uh, so there we go. Very interesting. So, you know, in this video, we were uh, able to successfully install Taubot and uh, get suspend working on the PinePhone Pro. Although it does seem that there are some issues uh, related to this. So, you know, hopefully I'll do a few more videos and, and we'll check this out. But I'm very glad Suspend works. Because this actually means that I could technically actually start using this phone, like, full time. I think. I mean, there are some things um, that I need to reconsider um, when, when using this. Like, for example, there's no Discord client. And I need Discord. I, I'm, that's just my communication platform of choice. I, I need it. And uh, so, yeah, there are definitely some things I, I need to um, consider uh, about uh, when using this phone. But honestly, I'm very happy uh, getting Suspend working. That's really great. But yeah, there, there are obviously some issues with Suspend right now. And uh, maybe I'll create some other videos uh, with the Pine phone. Um, you know, I'm really excited about this phone. And that's why um, you know, I bought it. And I really want to be in the, in the mix. Oops. Oh. We uh, want to be in the Linux um, mobile ecosystem and, and, you know, test this out. I think it's really exciting and um, really cool because there's a lot of cool things you can do uh, with this. It's just, you know, right now it's all, all a big work in progress because the, the desktop space for Linux is really solid, but the mobile space, mm, definitely more of a work in progress. So, yeah, very exciting stuff. Uh, so if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and share it around. Uh, if you thought it was uh, interesting, and uh, uh, hopefully if you're trying to install Taoboot on your Pine phone, uh, you found it helpful. But all right, have a good day, and uh, peace out.